To an I team investigation, it is not an overstatement to say the Boston Marathon has come to represent the spirit of New England in many ways. Which is why it is surprising the I team has learned that some runners try to cheat their way into the race. Christina Hager shows us how investigators and race organizers are tracking the marathon cheaters. Almost 40 years after Rosie Ruiz became the Boston Marathon's most infamous cheater, the I team has learned some runners are still taking shortcuts trying to qualify for Boston. I've been waiting my entire life to be able to run this marathon. With the help of the L Street Running Club, Meredith Morris's lifelong dream is about to come true Monday when she runs the Boston Marathon. So to hear people cheating or faking bibs or stealing bibs, it's really, really a shame. There are very hardworking people uh, in this race, and of course it's not fair to them. Boston Athletic Association Director Tom Grilk says race officials are on to the cheaters. So is this unlikely investment. Investigator, Cincinnati financial analyst Derek Murphy, a runner himself who's dedicated a website to help race officials catch fakers. In pretty much any race that I look at, you'll find dozens of course cutters. Murphy showed the I team an algorithm he created to spot suspicious race times. When I first looked at it, I believe it was in 2016, I estimated maybe. You know, between 250, 350 runners. This year, he says, Washington State political candidate J.D. Greening was removed from the list to enter Boston. He was even raising travel money on a GoFundMe page. But when Murphy pressed Greening on his claim that he ran a qualifying marathon in less than three hours, Greening eventually admitted he only ran about half of it. It was just completely obvious. Stephen Jewell, seen here after a Minnesota marathon, also lost his spot in Boston this year after Murphy discovered he got someone else, a faster runner, to run a qualifying race for him wearing his bib number. Then there's this old bib. Murphy says he caught a man using to slip into the Boston marathon last year as a bandit. It's from 1996. For many people, the most difficult part of the Boston Marathon is getting to the starting line. That's why Grilk says the BAA has video of every qualifying race available to review. And for those who do make it to the Hopkins start, there are electronic checkpoints every five miles. After months of sweat and sometimes tears, when these runners get wind of cheaters... Come on. Really? It makes their blood race. We all paid our, our, our bib numbers for our bibs, and we all raised our money and trained through the treacherous uh, training. They know that they didn't earn that. For the I-Team, Christina Hager. I hope karma again comes back to them. WBZ News.